Firstly, uh, how are you feeling ahead of uh, the Europeans? Yeah, so Ivrea this year, 2021 European Championships, really, really looking forward to this event. It is probably, well, it's a course that, you know, I've probably had arguably my most success on. I've had a world, well, consistent cons success anyway. I've had a World Cup final there, uh, under 23 Vice World Champion there. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to this event. It's our first event in over a year. So for me, just getting back on the start line, a little bit nervous to get back on the start line considering a lot of my competitors have had some, some races under their belt within the last year. But yeah, just really looking forward to this one. What has it been like for you not having competition for so long? Yeah, for me, not being able to compete for you know the last 12 months has been has been difficult. I'd say I'm a real natural racer, and I enjoy enjoy the challenge of race day. So to have that taken away f from me, and you know, I can speaking with a lot of my teammates, it has it has been difficult not to be able to get out there and do what we love. But um, now that we've been given that opportunity again, really just want to make the most of it and yeah, go and enjoy it. You said you enjoy the course that the European Championships are on. That's very different to here at um, Lee Valley, which is an artificial course, and yeah. that course is, is natural. So what, what, are the, what are the differences? Can you explain it to a sort of layperson's point of view? Yeah, Ivrea is, um, is a, it's almost a natural man-made course because they have um, clearly had like forklifts and JCBs in the in the course itself to move some of the rocks around. But yes, in comparison to the Lee Valley Wet Water Centre here, we've got um, pumped water. So we've got 20 cubic metres per second of water that runs down the course here. Um, if rail will be run on a, a slightly lesser flow than that. Also at the Lee Valley Wet Water Centre, we've got rapid blocks, which is like um, kind of giant Lego that we have within the, the channel, which you can move around to create different features on the course. And it won't break your boat if you hit it unlike a rock. Um, what do you, what's your hopes for the Europeans? For, for me, for every competition, I hope to go out and give my best performance on the day. And for me, that means setting a good plan with my coach and executing that to be the best of my ability. If I set my plan and you know stick to that and then something doesn't go right, then I can, I can, I'll still be satisfied with my performance. Um, but you know, for me, frustrations come in on race day if I set a plan but then deviate from that plan. That's where I'll, I'll kick myself. But definitely, you know, hoping to be in the final at the European Championships. And once you're in there, anything can happen. That's one area that has been difficult over the last 12 months: planning. Uh, have you had to adapt at all in, in your approach to any part of life? Yeah, certainly with the Olympics coming up this year, um, there have been lots of changes. There have been training camps cancelled. We've not been able to get away on our kind of normal winter training camp. We've been yeah, back here at Lee Valley White Water Centre, you know, still loving being able to get out on the water and really thankful that we have been able to do that. Um, but yeah, massive, massive changes to plans all the time. And for me, I think it's just made me more adaptable, just able to go with the flow. And for me, it doesn't seem like anything's going to happen until you're sat there actually doing it. Have you had um, mental challenges at all during the last 12 months? Or are you the sort of person that actually has just rolled with it? Um, yeah, for me, I'd say I'm more of a, an extroverted person. I like to spend time with my friends and, you know, be able to go and socialise. Um, so it has been, it's been a change, not, be, you know, spending more time indoors and, yeah, not, not really seeing my friends apart from little walks in the park and stuff like that. But I think it's taken, it's given me some time to reflect on myself and, you know, how I want to operate in coming into the next season and the Olympic Games. And, you know, I think it's given me real clarity about how I want to conduct myself and go about my business. 
How have you coped with the, the sort of on, off and the uncertainty of the last 12 months, or even longer? I mean, it seems an age now since you were named. Yeah, since I've been selected for the Olympics, there has been lots of challenges and, you know, it's just, it's, it's been a crazy time at the moment. Um, from when I first thought that I was going to be going out to the Olympics to now, you just, I, yeah, I couldn't have imagined the journey that I would have been on with, you know, postponed Olympics and, you know, all of the racing last season cancelled, but you've just, you know, for me, it's just, I've tried to be thankful for other things that I've got going on in my life. And yeah, like I say, it's given me some more time to focus on other aspects of my life. Like what? Um, like, for me, trying to plan a career past canoeing, I think that's what the last 12 months has given me, trying to, you know, set up some internships at, you know, where we are at the Lee Valley Water Centre, we're so close to London that I've been, you know, trying to use my contacts to um, set up some internships and, you know, things like that to do past the Olympics. Uh, how excited are you for this summer? Yeah, massively. Um, you know, the Olympics has been something that I've wanted to do since I've been kind of 12 years old. So the last 14, 15 years of my life, it's, it means a lot to me to be named an Olympian. And, you know, I'm really hopeful that the event will go ahead. But as we've seen at the moment, it's almost like you can never say nothing, anything's happening at the minute until you're sat there on that plane and it's, you know, you're kind of one week away. So, yeah, the nerves and excitement are starting to come, but, um, yeah, still a little bit reserved to whether or not it will go ahead. Really? So, and is that sort of a rational thought? Is that trying to contain your excitement or just what you feel is realistic? I think I'm just always optimistically realistic. I would, you know, really, really for my own kind of uh, career hope that the Olympics go ahead, but I've seen so many events being cancelled and postponed over the last 12 months that you've just got to, for me, I just like to go with the flow at the moment and I'm trying to prepare the best that I can and then we'll see, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much. That's terrific. Thank you. Thank you. That was lovely.